G'day, uh, my name's David Wenger. I work on the .NET team at Microsoft, and I'm gonna show you a little short demo of required members, which is a new feature in C-Sharp 11. Um, what I've got in my code here is a very simple data model. It's a person class, it has three name properties. Uh, it's fairly standard. And in recent C-Sharps, we've sort of allowed you to add a bit more information about uh, how this model might be used and ways to control it. So if I remove this line here, um, I can make middle name nullable. So now middle name is essentially optional, can be nothing. Um, I'm using init only properties to say that this class is immutable. So once it's been created, we can't set anything. But there's a bit of a problem with doing this and it's these errors here that I can show you. My first name property, I've said that you have to provide a first name, but I'm not providing a default. I don't know what your name is. Uh, and I'm not providing a constructor. Now I could provide a constructor to sort of do this, so I can just create a quick constructor here and initialize those properties. Uh, last name. So that gets around the issue, but if you don't like constructors, that might be annoying. Uh, personally, I quite like the object initializer syntax, which is where I can go a new person like this, and I can specify first name in this uh, setting properties style of, of doing it. But obviously this isn't gonna work because I haven't got a constructor. Uh, if I now create a constructor, we're back to having this issue of nullability. See, this person constructor is now complaining because I've said you must provide a first name, but I haven't. So what's new in C Sharp 11 is required members. And so I can add the required keyword to these two properties. And what this says is essentially it shifts the blame so previously I was defining this person class and the compiler was telling me as the person defining the class, you need to provide a first name. But using the required member, I'm saying, hey, person who's constructing this object, you need to provide things. So if I hover over this error, you'll see this says required member last name must be set. It's not complaining about first name because I can see that, for, it, it can see, the compiler can see that first name is set. Uh, if I go ahead and provide a value for last name, then we're all good. So this is a really good way to better tell the compiler what's going on. There is one slight thing to know about it though. If I go and use my constructor form here, I'm still providing a first name and a last name to this object, but the compiler is complaining at me. And that's because the compiler doesn't do deep introspection of things. So I'm constructing a person and the compiler can see that I'm constructing a person, but it doesn't go and look and see what that construction means. You know, that could be a factory method, it could use reflection, it could do all sorts of things. So the way to around that is we just need to add a little attribute here that says, hey, this constructor, if anyone calls it, we're okay with required members. So again, as the author of the person class, I get to describe what does my constructors do, what do my properties need, etc. And then as the con consumer or the creator of the person object, I can better inform the compiler, hey, I'm doing all the right things. I'm gonna get less exceptions at runtime, etc. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully this is a feature that you'll get some use out of. Uh, try it out. It's in the current Visual Studio 2022 preview. Uh, so go and have a play.